Hey everybody, it's Jess. Welcome to the final installment in my Mental Health Awareness Month build series. Today we're doing something a little bit cheerful to kind of wrap up this whole month. I decided I wanted to build an animal shelter because this kind of holds a really special place in my heart as a way that I cope with my mental health issues. Depression for me started when I was 13. I wasn't fully like clinically diagnosed with depression until I was 17, but all the signs were there early on. One thing that I did when I was younger that really, really helped me and kind of brought me out of my funk was I volunteered at one of our local animal shelters. I know animals aren't always for everyone. Sometimes you have allergies or phobias or whatever, you just haven't had a good experience with animals, something like that. But for me personally, there was nothing better than just like snuggling with some dogs or playing with cats. And it wasn't always fun and games, so there was always cleaning and stuff to do, but there were always cute little critters that you could just spend your time with. And that was so, so helpful for me. It was an instant, like, almost like instant happy treatment. <laughs> and it's really hard to be sad when you're staring at a bunch of puppies. Not impossible, but really hard. So I just thought I would make this cute little shelter. It's not a vet, so it doesn't function as a vet, but there is plenty of room for the cats and the dogs to run around and play. They have a big backyard and everything that they might need to have a happy little life before they find their forever home. As usual, I am going to keep my talking to a minimum, but I first really wanted to just say thank you, thank you, thank you so much. This whole series has gotten such positive feedback and it just like, I get almost emotional when I have to, when I think about it. So I just really wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means the world to me. I was really unsure when I started this challenge how it was going to be received, but I've had nothing but positive feedback. About so I guess I'm going to wrap this whole thing up by giving you guys the usual challenge at the end. This time it is just one thing, and it is the tried and true method for helping out with most mental health issues, and that is just to take care of yourself. Put yourself first. Put you and your mental health and your happiness as a priority. And it is not a cure by any means, but it'll certainly get you stepping in the right direction. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do let me know by clicking that thumbs up button down below or giving me a shout in the comments. As always, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope to see you in my next video. Stay awesome. Bye.